Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Chloe Brown, and right now I'm gonna bring you through the part one of me taking a break from makeup. So I titled this Why I Stopped Wearing Makeup, and I will go through that in a second. You'll see some ups, you'll see some downs, um, but just the progress of me going face makeup free. Um, so, if you guys are new, I hope you enjoy this. It's very vulnerable, very raw, but um, I've been really, really blessed to be on this journey. It sounds so lame, but it's so true. I didn't realize how much of a change this would make, this would make not only on my outward appearance, but also my inward appearance in my mind and how I view myself. So, here we go. Oh, I am absolutely nervous to make this video. I didn't ever think that I would make this video, but here I am. So ever since I started doing YouTube, I've been playing with makeup a lot more. And I've had a lot of fun with it, but my face has been crazy. Ever since I started wearing foundation, concealer, it's been so fun, but this past year and a half, like before that I wasn't wearing anything like on my face except for like some powders. In the more recent months in the past year, my face has been awful. And there are some months where my face is fine. Most months, it's not good. And the other night I was talking to my husband and uh, I was kind of at my wit's end. Like I just spent so much money on this amazing product line that was all like natural and supposed to be really good for your skin. And my husband said, just stop. And I was like, stop what? Just stop wearing it. He's right. I am not gonna use any facial cleansers, any lotions, any makeup. Um, I probably will do my eyebrows because <laughs> We need to wean in on this, okay? Um, I might do some mascara here or there. I'm really going to try to not wear anything here. Maybe my eyes. For I don't know how long. I'm hoping that it's a long time. Um, and the reason is, one, I want my skin to heal. I'm gonna show you some videos that I made a couple days ago, but this is day two without wearing face makeup, without doing anything, and it's already cleared up a ton. So I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what is going on. It's, um, this is embarrassing to me. I have a cold sore too, so that makes things a lot better. Um. I've been wanting to change my YouTube channel to be more me, um, to be more authentic, to be more vulnerable. And I feel like God was just like, <laughs> I mean, because my YouTube channel has been makeup tutorials and hair tutorials and little fun things here and there, but I'm, I'm going to change it. And I think that this is the first step in doing that. I wanna get back to feeling confident in myself again, um, being able to look at myself in the mirror with no makeup on and not be ashamed of my skin. So I am going to challenge myself to just sit in my own skin for a while to heal it and to accept it and love it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love makeup. I do, I think it's fun, I think it's creative, but because I've been messing around with it for the past year and a half, when I started out it was so simple and because I started challenging myself into learning new things and doing new things, not being like super extravagant with it, but I definitely have um, added more makeup and things that I do into my makeup routine. I wanna get back to the basics. And the basics is we're all beautiful without makeup and 
I, I'm ready to believe that again. Don't get me wrong, I like myself without it, but I love myself way more with it. I actually went to the grocery store for the first time yesterday with no makeup, and it felt really good. Um, so I'm going to document my progress through this time, and uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm excited. So this is day one. <sighs> Today is day two of filming. Um, it's in the middle of the day today. I actually just got out of the pool and I put some sea salt spray in my hair. So I didn't even like really do my hair today, but I'm kind of, I'm liking it more natural looking. Um, I feel a lot better about my face today. Um, it's clearing up really well. I did get like a huge pimple on my lip right here that I was pretty pissed about. <laughs> but... Um, this side of my face is a lot worse than this side is, but this is the side I show the most often. I, I feel a lot better about it today though. So I literally just put on my eyebrows and I, f I feel like my face even looks, um, I don't know, you know how like a couple of days after you like, you don't wear any type of eye makeup or mascara. I don't know, like the skin pigmentation is a little different around my eyes and I'm not mad about it at all. I feel very awake. I feel like before I felt like my bags were showing just a little bit more. I was pretty self-conscious about like my actual lid color and now I feel okay. I honestly do. Besides that little pimple I tried popping like three days ago. But I still have my cold sore. Um, you could see all of my face right here. So that is still pretty bad. Those are just scars. There's like no new pimples that are coming up, which I'm pretty happy about. Yeah, no new white heads or anything. It's all, wait, there's one right there. It's one. Like I said before, I'm literally just cleaning my face off with water in the morning and at nighttime, and I'm not putting any moisturizer on it. I'm not putting any lotion, nothing. Um, the only thing I'm doing is putting chapstick on my lips and then like cold sore medicine. But other than that, my face is just water. I'm feeling definitely more confident. Um, I'm feeling actually beautiful today. So, um, I'm pretty happy about that. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow and let you know how I feel then. Okay, so today is day three. This is the first day that I actually like went out and went to the store. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby today and I didn't feel any different. Usually when I go to the store or something like that, I always do my eye makeup and I always have concealer on. Um, I definitely think that having my brows done makes it feel a little more normal for me. But in all reality, I feel like I look, I can look at myself in the mirror and I say I look beautiful. Like I have a cute little dress on today. I did my hair. I didn't wash it yet, but I just kind of put it up in like a half up, half down thing. So I'd feel a little tiny bit more done up. Still have my cold sore. My face is still healing. I could definitely tell it's healing. This guy is scabbed still. This side of my face looks a lot better. Um, but I definitely feel like my under eyes look great. I feel like they look a little brighter today. Looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> And then my eyelids still feel really good. So um, I'm, I'm really happy with what's happening on my forehead, definitely. But I can actually like say to myself in the mirror, like I feel like I look really pretty. Um, and a couple weeks ago, I definitely would not say that I would be able to say that about myself just with bare face. Like I would probably say it at home, but I wouldn't go out <laughs> like that. So um, for me, this is a huge milestone. Going out in public, and being okay with how I look and still feeling like I look good. So, um, so far this, this is working for me. So I'll show you just a close up of my face. I feel like that one needs to pop. I probably will pop it just because that's me. Like I had a white head right here that I needed to pop and I just popped it like five minutes ago and I haven't, tr ugh, I've been trying not to touch my face, but it's so hard for me. 
I'm a, a pimple popper, that's for sure. So there has been a couple of pimples that have shown up today that weren't there yesterday and the day before. All right, here is another day. So this is actually the end of my night. Um, I just got out of the shower. I, I feel good. Yesterday I had posted a video, or I mean a, a picture of like what I was doing and that I wasn't wearing makeup. And it was an amazing amount of positivity. I would probably say like 98% of the comments were positive. Of course, there were negative comments. Um, I actually, because I'm kind of like insecure right now <laughs> um, and throwing my vulnerability out there, I think I'm just a little bit more insecure. Um, usually I don't let negative comments get to me at all. But somebody said, you can't do no makeup with your eyebrows on. Which, whatever. I agree, in a sense. Um, but, like, I took a shower and this is what's left of the Maybelline eyebrow gel tattoo stuff. So it stays on for so long. But for me, my eyebrows... I mean, I don't even know why I'm explaining myself. I don't have to explain myself. But I just thought I'd just be super open completely vulnerable. Um, the reason why I am wearing eyebrows is because I'm 100% insecure about my eyebrows. I don't have a lot of hair. Um, and the hair that I do, it's like patchy here and then it just like is non-existent here but then like grows down here. So it's not even like an eyebrow. But anyways, I've had it tattooed twice. Um, and so the tattoo is very faded and without makeup on my eyebrows, I look like a freak. And um, I mean, I don't look like a freak, but I am very insecure about how they look just because there's like half tattoo, half little sprouts of eyebrow hairs. And I'm just, I mean, if you guys have watched my makeup tutorials, you've seen how my eyebrows look. They're just not my favorite. And um, these make me feel a lot better out of everything out of everything, this is the only thing I'm keeping. I'm literally not even putting like face wash. I'm not doing lotion. I'm not doing toners. I'm not washing my face with anything but water. Um, and honestly, whatever. I let that comment, there's like two comments or whatever. I let them get to me just a little bit. And people accuse me of wearing mascara, which I'm, I haven't been. <laughs> kind of just naturally curly. Um, and when you take a lighted photo, things are a little bit more drastic, I guess. Like when you're in studio lighting rather than regular lighting, <laughs> but whatever. People can say whatever. I don't care. I, get, I do care. That's why I'm talking about it. But I just wanted to explain to you guys, yes, even though I'm doing no makeup, I'm, I'm literally doing this to like heal my face. <laughs> and just get past the facade of like the social media perfectness. Today though, I feel fantastic. Um, I did my hair a little bit today. I curled it just a little bit and I felt fine. My cold sore is going away, so that's making me super happy. Um, one pimple did pop up here and ugh, I had to pop it because you know me. But other than that, everything else is looking really good. I feel a pimple coming here. But everything is healing really well. I'll show you guys. So here is the pimple I popped earlier. But everything else is really good. My pores are closing, especially right here. Like it's insane how much they have closed just in these past couple days. And then here is this side. So this side's really going down, especially on like the little scars and stuff. It's just like redness, but the bumps have Definitely, I've seen like a huge improvement. Um, I've also seen like my bags aren't really bags anymore, which is weird um, because I used to like wake up with really crazy bags and like I couldn't wait to like cover them up. But um, I mean, you can still see I have bags, but I think the, the pigmentation is changing to where it's making me feel more confident. And then my forehead hasn't been an issue this whole time. So there's that. Um, I did notice my nose is a little bit dry when I got out of the shower today. So I just used like a washcloth with water and just kind of like 
not, I didn't want to like scrape off the dead skin, but just kind of like lightly massage it with a wet washcloth. Um, I'm, I'm surprised my chin isn't drier. I thought it would be a lot drier, but it's just my nose that looked like it was a little dry. But other than that, I mean, my face feels fine. It doesn't feel dry. So that's good. So there's my update for today. Okay, so this is the morning. I'm still in my pajamas from last night, but um, I just wanted to show you guys like in the morning what my face looks like. I literally woke up like 20 minutes ago, so it wasn't that long ago. And yeah, I don't know, like the bags aren't bad, which is fantastic. And like, I don't sleep great because my daughter wakes up a lot during the night, but um, usually my eyes are like super puffy and they're not cute when I wake up in the morning. And that's been a really long time. I don't know if it's because of the makeup I wear, maybe my eyes are irritated or the moisturizers or eye cream like causes, I don't know, but I feel good. I mean, I look a little tired, but I don't look like crazy. One thing that I noticed last night is after I made the video, I noticed a lot of my like blackheads, whiteheads, pores on my nose, like things were starting to excrete from them. This might sound really weird, but so I started like barely pressing on my nose to see if like I could pop anything and everything was coming out like very easily. And I literally have been trying for months to get the blackheads, the whiteheads, everything, like all my pores unfilled for a really long time. <laughs> probably been like six months use Viore pore strips. I literally just used one like the other day. It did not do anything. Um, I put been putting like steam even before like I did the Viore pore strips or steam and then like try to pop them and nothing has seemed to work. So it's bizarre to me that from doing nothing, wearing nothing but just water on my face um, is allowing things on my nose and my face to just like come up. I definitely see that like this pimple was like there last night and then it was like able to pop this morning um so i definitely feel like my face is healing and things are coming out and they're not necessarily like juicy pimples it's just like clogged pores which is really weird i've never had like pimples like that before um so yeah that nose thing was like really weird i barely put like any pressure and like it was disgusting but um, it's something's working. So, um, I'm happy about that. Anyways, there's my update for today. I forgot to film yesterday. Um, but this is bright and early in the morning and then I'll film again tonight. Um, everything is seeming pretty good. Like there's no new things coming up. At least yesterday. This I tried popping, but it was just old. There's nothing to pop, so it's a little red. I literally just did it like two minutes ago. Um, but honestly, everything feels really good. I'm a little tired this morning, so you can tell like I do have bags, which is fine. I mean, whatever, I literally just got up. My face around the perimeter is fine. Here, just just here, not even on my chin, it's just like here. Well, here, and then like a tiny bit right here, um, is dry. It started peeling yesterday, and then I kind of just took a washcloth and just, um, not like scrubbed, but tried to get the dry skin off. Um, and it seems to be pretty good today, but it definitely feels a little tight because it's dry. Um, my pores, I'll put on my other lens so you can see my pores, but. They look really good. So here's the side, nothing new. The red bumps are going down. Now they're pretty much the same level as my skin, which is really good. This side is doing fantastic. This side had like the bigger breakouts, um, but it's doing really good. All right, sorry that my air conditioning is on. It is super hot in the house. But anyways, I just wanted to come on here and tell you, this is the first day I've actually worn like mascara. Um, so I'm wearing, I'm going out tonight with my girlfriend and I just wanted to do a little something. My hair was kind of driving me crazy. I don't know. It's like too clean right now and it's driving me nuts. So I wanted to put a little bit of mascara on. Um, but yeah, 
there we go. Okay, so here is another update. Um, I'm pretty happy with how things are going right now. I will have to say the dryness has like completely gone away. Like my nose is not dry anymore. It actually has like a really natural oil on my face, which like I'm super happy about because the last couple days it's been really dry. And not that I've been like super concerned about it, but my face looks better like oily or dewy than it does dry. Like, am I right? I think that things are healing very, very well. Um, as you can tell yesterday when I had this little pimple and I believe it was this one, um, I was pretty like insecure about them. But like today, they're completely like flush to this, or how do you say that? Flush to the skin and the redness has gone down a ton. So it's it's been great. I haven't done anything. And like this side looks so good. So good. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm really happy with how things are going. There's like a little scab on the top of my nose and every single time like I take a washcloth to it, um, it just reopens, so that's just that. But it's not like a pimple or anything. I think it was just from my dry skin and then whatever. Um, but my eyes look so good. Like I'm so happy with how they're looking. I feel very good and beautiful. I actually had a talk with a girlfriend. She did this. Um, right after she had one of her sons and she said that she did it for like a whole two months before her face like completely cleared up. So I think that's gonna be, my goal is gonna be one month, we'll do this. My whole goal for this wasn't to just like exclude makeup altogether. My whole goal for this was to truly remind myself that my beauty is beyond this and to heal my skin from always doing makeup so if I could get to a point where I literally just wear eye makeup and like lip gloss that would be amazing um but, but anyways I haven't folded my eyebrows for like a couple days and I'm pretty stoked about it because I literally just wake up like this and it's great I wish tattooing would last a really long time but it doesn't you have to like get it updated like every eight months which is not fun but anyways I feel good I feel happy. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is my final update for this video. Um, I started editing and everything was like 20 over 20 minutes. So I think I'm going to do it just in series of maybe a week or two. Um, I don't exactly remember what date or how many days I've been doing this for, but I will have to say I have gone through a whirlwind of changes. It's been a lot of ups, some downs, but mostly ups. And I could tell you, I feel more confident than I've ever felt my whole life. So I definitely want to start living this more of a lifestyle and then just, you know, doing makeup here or there if I want to. Um, kind of like what I've been saying, but my face is clearing up so much and I love it. And most of the redness that you see is literally just like to my flesh. Like a lot of the textures going away. It feels, it feels really good. Um, and it's nice to know like my body is healing itself. I'm not like putting anything on it to heal it. So there we go. I will post another update, um, probably in a couple weeks. So you guys can see the update progress of what's been going on. And once I do, I will have that in the description box below. But until then, this is the first video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.